Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, I just got a question from one of my Facebook group members, um, which you can join is free by the way. Uh, you just look for Food Freedom Forever, the one with Shelby McDaniel, and uh, um, you can apply to join the group and happy to let you in after answering a few questions. And, and this really struck me because I know so many people struggle with these sorts of things. So I thought I would just address it on today's uh, kind of YouTube uh, video here. So I asked them, I asked members when they come in, what is the number one struggle, right, that you're currently facing when it comes with food? And she had mentioned, I know I'm still restricting and I'm following some food rules, even though I'm trying not to. And I also comment on my husband's plates using some of those food rules too. So that's part one. And part two is, what is the single most biggest question that you have surrounding food, body, or weight struggles? And her, her question was, how do I stop being so afraid of gaining weight? She says, I won't even take a medicine that stops me from being in pain just because it makes me gain weight or it claims that it can cause weight gain as a side effect. So let's just break this down into pieces. Um, and so let's start with the first part. I know I'm still restricting and following some food rules, even though I'm trying not to. I comment uh, on some of the things on my husband's plate. So one, I think it's really good that you see this, okay? You see this, uh, and let's talk about the food rules. So when we're trying to get out of the diet mentality, we're not anti-nutrition. We're not anti-nutrition where um, you know, we're, we're being uh, observant and in tune with the quality of food on our plate or the volume of food on our plate, some combinations of food. Uh, we take into account what, we're, what is on our plate uh, versus maybe what we've eaten for the rest of the day. So I want to make sure that that's clear that we're not anti-nutrition you know nutrition here. So food rules are when you feel in your mind you should be doing something and there was no ifs or buts about it. It's the law. And when you don't follow that law, then you're a morally bad person. You feel like you failed or you're guilting and judging yourself. Okay. So this really all involves creating a shift at the end of the day with how you obviously see and do food. And I would recommend to you that no matter what you put on your plate, your goal right now, I would say, is to go in with the intention to feel better after the meal than before you start. And that's a whole different mindset uh, in terms of how you approach. Instead of should I, shouldn't I, uh, is this right or wrong, it's how is this going to make me feel? And that might sound like, well, duh, we always want to feel better, but it opens up the door, really, for you to just make your own decisions. And so when I say feel better, I'm really referring to not just physically feeling better, but also emotionally feeling better, meaning you have to have some sort of, that was nice, enjoyment, peace, okay, of of your eating experience. I'm not talking about I numbed all of my emotions feeling better kind of thing. That's, that's totally different, okay? So uh, if you focus on how foods make you feel, it'll help you get start to get out of some of those rules. So you might find, you know what, uh, this broccoli and the sweet potato and chicken on my plate uh, is what I've done in the past with all of my dieting uh, experiences and it works, but if, you, if you're focusing on feeling better after the meal and before you started, and you're like, oh, I'm so tired of chicken, or I just hate broccoli, like that's not feeling better. Maybe you swap out your sweet potato for some brown rice or something, like something that's just different, something that interests you, same with your vegetables, same with your proteins. Maybe you need to go to a different recipe that has some life to it, so it's not just a bunch of separates that, again, maybe you're just bored, so that's that's my first suggestion for you. Two, you're, it sounds like you, you have some autopilot sort of behaviors that go along with that diet mentality, which include commenting on your husband's plates, right, using the food rules. No different than somebody uh, judging themselves for something they ate when they're trying to get out of the diet mentality. No different than somebody sitting in front of the mirror and pick, 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 pick at all the little things that you hate. Okay, that's, it's habit. Okay, so, so use your mindfulness, grow this skill set, and when you feel that urge coming on, that's just know that your brain is trying to repeat the same pathway that it's always done in those moments. So the urge might be strong. So do your best to not repeat that because that is um, only going to strengthen it. Okay, so maybe redirect your attention to uh, the conversation between you and your husband. Put it back into something that serves you. And if you do slip, okay, which you probably will because that's part of changing your habits, hon, is is needing some time 
to kind of get out the kinks, right? And and formulate something that's new, that's that's healthy for you. If you slip, you just say, honey, I'm sorry, I'm working on it, I realize it, I apologize, and you get back into that space enjoying that, that time together. Okay, so that's part one of your question. I hope that helps. Part two, the biggest question is, how do I stop being so afraid of gaining weight? Um, so this involves, I think, a couple things. One, definitely, some maybe inner belief systems that might be going on. What is it that you're so afraid of? Like, So if I'm at a certain weight, is it I'm... I'm, I am unhealthy or I'm not good looking or like, what is that? And, and that's what I don't know what is there. So I would really, add, I would, I would, I would encourage you to explore that. And is it a belief system that really is true? Okay. Um, there's, there's some sort of fear there. Um, and I have a feeling it goes towards some judgment uh, and know that that's very normal, but you don't have to you don't have to go by that anymore, okay? How could how could the opposite be true, right? How could you look at, well, you know what, re, no matter what I weigh right now, can I still be confident? Yes, you can. Can I still be worthy of love? Yes, you can. Can I still be successful? Yes, you can. And and sometimes, yes, you can still be healthy. There, there's many studies that are coming out that um, regardless of weight is not necessarily the factor that leads to poor health. It's the behaviors, but weight is typically another a symptom that behaviors behind the scenes need to change. Okay, so I'm not promoting obesity by anything by any means, but I just you know want to throw that in there too. So I would ask you to uh, revisit some of these maybe toxic belief systems that you have, and and know that if you live your everyday minute, okay, and in existence with being afraid of is this going to make me fat? Is this going to make me fat? Is this going to make me fat? What kind of quality of life is that? Okay, number one, it's like you're walking around on eggshells all the time. And two, your body physiologically can only be in two states, a relaxed state or a stressed state. And if you are worried about everything that you eat, that you're going to gain weight, there's nothing wrong. Look, there's a difference between a concern and having an objective approach to wanting to better your health and reduce your body composition. But it's different when you are obsessing and living there. I'm talking about the living there part. So if you're living there all of the time, do you think that you're relaxed or do you think that you're stressed? You're obviously not relaxed and you're stressed. So what does that mean? Okay, stress is the state where your body is in the, in, in the poorest position to lose weight. Because when you're stressed, it's no different if, because you're stressed about your weight, there's no difference in you being stressed uh, that a tiger is gonna come out of the woods and eat you. Okay, you're, so your body increases cortisol, insulin, it reduces, it deregulates your appetite, you have much poor um, nutrient assimilation, uh, so your metabolism also goes down because it's concerned, like there's a threat, there's, there's a threat somewhere, so, and it's going to affect your mood, obviously, you can't be mindful, you can't be in a happy space where you're feeling good about yourself or life, you're going to be in a reactive space. So you're going to have a poor mood. Again, you're going to be more prone to weight loss resistance. And you're probably going to struggle with more things like anxiousness, um, sadness, maybe feeling some lows, right? Like some depressive lows because your body is just stressed. That's just part of being a human. Okay, so you want to have some different conversations with yourself here and look at the facts, okay, that me being stressed about this all the time, you got to watch and catch yourself that you're not living there. Again, don't give up on your on your approach of wanting to uh, change your body composition, nothing wrong with wanting to shift, okay, your body composition, nothing, nothing at all. But you just have to watch you you living in that state of fear. Okay, so I hope that's helpful and hope that's helpful for anyone that struggles with fear of gaining weight. So for for all of you that again are in that position, takeaways from today is one, try to shift your mentality away from judgment, what's right and wrong, and feel free to to explore nutrition principles and and really see what works for you. What makes you feel good? What what are you bored with? What doesn't make you happy? What is what is a balance that strikes a good chord with you when it comes to your eating and, and when you're eating and so forth? And then really watch your mindset. Success, no matter what it is that you're after, whether it, it is health or about shifting body composition or maybe it's about financial health or relationship health, a career, anything, 
you have to understand how your mind works. And part of that is understanding that things get looped over, excuse me, things get automated the more and more and more that you stay in that space. And that just makes it harder. So just know your brain is like a little computer up there and it's just going, okay? It's just going, but you don't have to jump every time it says jump. It's not easier said than done. But you gotta start having some different conversations with yourself. And I'll do another quick, quickie quickie here and then we'll wrap this up. But sometimes I'll tell my clients when they recognize some self-talk, um, they can either ask themselves, is this helping me or hurting me? Is this helping me or hurting me? And that can help change how you're having a conversation. Or if you feel like this talk is just from this younger self, this bully kind of part of yourself, this old self that you're that you're really trying to leave behind because you're you're trying to transform into this best self, then you can also ask yourself, okay, wait, is this old self talking or is this my best self talking? And it'll be obvious no matter what you choose. So that's just a great little pause and opportunity for you to, to, to check in and pivot and turn it to where you want. Again, you're not gonna win every time, but I'm just giving you some starting points. Okay, I'm done, I promise. I know that was a long one today, but it was a good one. It was a really filled, very filled question. So thank you uh, for sending that my way and uh, I hope it was helpful. I'll see y'all next time, bye now.